Hello and welcome to Skill Builders, where we give you just the information you need to build a new skill. Today we're going to be working with Microsoft Word and working with mail merges. A mail merge allows you to create a customized document or address labels rather than using address labels. How do you like that? Address labels, address labels, twice in the same sentence. Let's get started with customizing a letter first. First thing we're going to do is I've already opened my, my document and I've preloaded where I want my mail merge fields to be. So first I'm going to go to the mailings tab and from there I'm going to select start mail merge and I'm going to tell it that I want to do letters. And you'll notice that it really didn't seem like it did anything, but it does a lot of work behind the scenes, scenes to kind of prepare your document for the merge. Now I've highlighted the areas in red that I would like to change or to customize. So from here I will go to select recipients. Now you have a couple of different ways you can go here. You can either type a new list, use an existing list, or you can import everybody from your Outlook contacts. Today we're going to focus on using a, a list that is pre-built in Microsoft Excel. So to show that to you real quick before we use it, I'm going to open up Excel here, and here is my list of names that I've pre-built for this mail merge. Now one thing you're going to want to do when creating a list like this is you're going to want to name the range. So I've highlighted all of my information in Excel and up here in the top left in the naming section I've changed my name to mail underscore list and I'll show you why that's important in just a second. So here I have, I've got my list in Excel, I've got all my names in it, I'm ready to go, I've named my range. I'll go ahead and hit save just to make sure I've got the latest information there. And now I'm going to go back over to my Word document. So I go select recipients and I'm going to use an existing list. And I'm going to go find my list that we just built. Mail merge list and I'm going to open it. Now you'll notice when it comes up that it has two, two options for me. It has mail list and sheet number one. Well because I went in and predefined my mail merge list I, and named it mail list, that makes it easier for Excel to find the information I want and pass it to Word. So I'm going to select mail list and tell it OK. Also, before I hit OK, notice that I've selected the first row of data contains my column headers. Again, that helps pass the information from Excel to Word. So if, you're, if you did that in your table, you want to make sure that is checked. All right, so now I'm ready to go. So I'll First thing I want to do is I want to fill out the address list for my customer. So to do that, I'm going to go up here to the tab and I'm going to select address block, which will bring up this dialog box. Now this dialog box give me, gives me a few different options for how I want that address block to look. I'm just going to select the standard one here, Josh Randall. I'm going to tell it to insert the postal address. So just to show you what that looks like, if I unselect it, you'll notice over here the address goes away when I put that back in comes right in very nicely. And if I hadn't gone through and, and put my field names on top, on my top row of my data, I might have to go in here and match the fields. But since I already did that and Excel and Word talked and communicated that, everything looks good, I don't have to go in and match my fields. So now I can just tell it OK. And you'll notice it has put address block up here with these little brackets around it. That tells me that it's a mail merge field, so that is a customized field. So I can go ahead and get rid of my, my placeholder here. Next thing I want to do is I want to put, I want to personalize my letter. So I'm going to put the first name of my letter recipient in there. So I'm going to go to the insert merge field line and pull down my menu. And here are the fields that are in my spreadsheets. I'm going to select first. I'm going to go back down here to the next one and I'm going to do the same thing first. And now I'm going to customize my letter just a little further because I'm going to put my customer number in the document. So again, I'll go to my mail merge field and I'm going to put customer number and there we go. So now I have my, my document is ready to begin the merge process. But before I do the merge process, I'm going to double check. So up here on top, I can preview my results. Make sure it looks like it's supposed to, and it does. I have Gene Poole from Deepwater, Texas. Dear Gene, blah, blah, blah. Gene, this shows you here, and your customer number is 555. Now I'm ready to go. And I can go through and I can check each of my recipients very quickly. When I'm done, everything looks like I want it to. 
I just hit finish and merge, and now I can do one of two things. I can either create individual documents, which will open up multiple copies of the same thing, or I can send it straight to the printer. For today's exercise, I'm going to edit the individual documents. I'm going to tell it I want to merge all of the records. And there we go. I have one letter, two letters, three letters, and so on and so forth. So if I had a large thing, it would just create one document with multiple pages that I could go ahead and then print out. And so that is the very simple and easy way to do a mail merge in Microsoft Word to create letters. Now, the next thing that everybody wants to know is how do I do that with envelopes? Okay, now let's go ahead and start with envelopes and what we need to do to make those. So again, we're going to start with the mailings tab. We're going to go to start mail merge and this time we're going to select envelopes. Now, we'll hit envelopes. You'll notice the computer has to think just a little bit to get this ready. Tells me, asks me what size envelopes do I want. I want the standard ones. Tell it OK. And now you'll notice how it's reformatted it to look like an envelope. So in here, I'm going to put my address, Skill Builders, 101 North 7th Avenue, Pocatello, Idaho, 83201. Okay, <clears throat> all right, I've just, completed, I've just completed entering my address, so now we'll go ahead and format the document or the envelope so that we can put the address block in there. Okay, now it's time to format the address block in the letter. So we'll hit return a couple of times to get us down to a spot where it looks about right. And we'll go back to the home and do our indent so we can put our address block in the middle of the envelope. Now from here, we'll go to mailings again. We'll select our recipients and we'll use an existing list just like we did in the previous example. Select my mail merge list, my mail list. I'm going to use the same one. Now I'm going to put in my address block. And interestingly enough, when you look at it this time, I'm missing my street address. So I know the Postal Service is good, but they won't get it to the right spot without the street address. So in order to fix that, I now need to use the match fields box. So from there, I'll pull the match fields dialog box up. My first name is right, last name is right. Address one, that's what I need to fix. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select street. And now it will be matched and we'll tell it OK. And now I have Gene Poole living on 123 Puddle Avenue in Deepwater, Texas. Bet you've never been there before. So everything looks like I want it to. I tell it OK. And now my envelope is formatted. So again, I can scroll through here real quick, make sure the letters look like I want. And I can do, and I can do one of two things. I can either edit the individual documents or I can send it right to printer. This one I'm going to say, let's just send it right to the printer. And it's going to ask me which records do I want to use. Do I want to go ahead and print them all or do I want to just go from one to, to five if maybe that's all I have and then I can tell it okay and it'll go to the printer. So that is how you do a mail merge in Microsoft Word. I'm Jeff and this has been working with mail merge in Word. For a more detailed look at working with mail merges, please visit our website cetrain.isu.edu to explore our more in-depth Microsoft Word classes. Until next time, keep learning.